Thank you, President. My adjournment matter is for the Treasurer. Victorians aren't having sex like they used to. Analysis from KM, KPMG has shown that Australia is experiencing a sharp drop in births, or what they are calling a baby recession. The number of births in 2023 was at its lowest since 2006. Such a, such a sharp drop in births has not been seen since the 1970s, making this the sharpest decline in over 50 years. Capital cities like Melbourne, and in particular inner city suburbs, were the worst affected. In Melbourne, births were down by 7.3% in 2023. You might ask whether a new super effective contraceptive has hit the market, and you would be right to think so. The cost of living crisis is the new birth control, and it is a tough pill to swallow. Young people are experiencing increasing housing unaffordability, hefty grocery bills, and ballooning hex debts. Because of this, they often have no choice but to live at home or in a share house for longer and longer. It's no wonder that people are putting off the decision to have kids and all the added costs that come with it. With that being said, I will mention that for a number of reasons, increasing numbers of people, including myself, are making the valid decision to not have children. So this, is, this isn't about saying that everyone must be running out there and having as many kids as they can. This is about saying that for some people, the choice to start and grow a family has been taken away from them. I was happy to see that Clyde North in my region was highlighted as one of the 10 suburbs in Melbourne with the highest fertility rates. But despite how much I may want them to, people shouldn't have to move to my region for the chance to be able to afford to raise a family. So the action I seek is the Treasurer, treasurer ensure that those in Victoria who needed a given cost of living support so that they can choose to start and grow their family regardless of their postcode. Thank you.